Welcome to VIP Socialite TV. I'm your host, Aglaya, and tonight we have an amazing show lined up with exclusive never-before-seen footage from the San Francisco Macy's Passport Glamorama show. An interview with Victor Tang of VT Couture, the latest VIP Socialite news, and much more. But first, let's talk about the Macy's Passport Glamorama show. VIP Socialite was honored to be invited to attend such a great show. The show was on September 30th on the Orpheum Theater in San Francisco. It was an amazing 60 minutes having elements of dance, fashion, theater, and music brought to life on a runaway. The styling was edgy and fashion forward. The runaway and design pieces were phenomenal. And the industry models walked down the runaway. There were also special guests, Bruno Mars, and the Far East Movement and attendance and performed on stage. Let's take a look at some never before seen VIP socialite footage from the event. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Macy's Passport Glamorama Outrageous Fashion Show. 
The night also honored the memory of Elizabeth Taylor, Taylor who was a founding chair. It was an event for a cause, with 100% of tickets proceeds go into organization to help the fight against HIV. Over 41 million so far has been raised over the past 28 years. I love to see huge organizations like Macy's trying to make a difference. We have Yolanda Wright, Shailene, and Amanda Michelle, who attended Mass Macy's Passport to talk about it. So ladies, how was the show? It was amazing. We had such a great time. We were so honored to be there. Um, a man, uh, Yolanda actually happened to be backstage and... Yep, I was backstage um, with the models and all the stuff that goes on backstage. Uh, it was terrific. It was um, fast paced, fun, energetic, exciting. Clothes are great. So I got to um, catch a, a glimpse of all the hot new trends um, for the fall. Um, it was just just terrific. Who Everyone was your enjoyed. favorite designer? Oh, wow. Um, there's so which many. One? Right, there's so many, two. exactly. Um, I would say the featured designer, Tracy Reese, she's fabulous, as well as Rachel Roy, and then, you know, um, the um, Carl Lagerfeld um, Impulse Collection, they featured that, so that was really awesome to see that. And um, their Macy's signature, Tommy Hilfiger. That's great. So what do you think the fall trends are for this year? I think Macy's has, has a, I have to really give Macy's, um, they recognize them because they're really good at um, showing, conveying their, all their trends and um, down the runway for Macy's Passports. One of my favorite um, shows, um, fashion shows. Um, so where do I start? Um, I would say for the ladies, um, fur is really hot, leather is hot, uh, color is hot, maxi dresses, printed, um, pleated skirts, um, prints bold colors, burgundies, rich blues, greens. Um, for the guys, uh, the slim looks still popular, little ties are really hot. Um, also that 80s lit retro look is still um, going strong. There's so many and Macy's did such a great job at representing all the, um, the current looks. So um, yeah, I think those are my favorite and I have to say again, fur is always really fun. So get Absolutely. something fur with fur. Definitely. And Amanda and I actually attended the after party and we had such a phenomenal time. Um, do you want to talk about the after party and what we uh, experienced? Yeah, for sure. The after party was amazing. It was at the Asian Art Museum. Bruno Mars was there. The Far East Movement was there. We actually got to see them for a little bit with their entourage walking around the party. Um, it was just a great time because everyone that was at the show was invited to enjoy fashion, they had photo booths set up, they had caricature drawings, they had like interactive things for the guests to do and it was just a great time. Um, I love the music, I love dancing and <laughs> what, what was your favorite part? Um, well we actually got a chance to meet the DJ, DJ Tina T from Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. She was one of my favorite DJs and um, I'm, I know it's a traveling show so I'm not sure if she plays at every event so I was really curious about that. Yeah. But I ended up twittering, twittering her after the event, and I said hello and thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was such an amazing night. I was really impressed by Macy's and the production. We also got a chance to meet um, a lot of the production people as well at the after party. Yeah, so. a lot of the um, there's a lot of industry models there, and actually that everyone that is involved with it goes on to the tour to the Four City tour that they go on to. So I mean, it was just really kind of cool to meet them and see this group that was like a small family put together and just how like everyone was united through fashion and fashion for a cause because it was for a good cause. So I mean it was just really honored to be invited and to be a part of something that just is for the greater good. Absolutely. Thank you ladies. That was really, really interesting and I'm <laughs> jealous, you know. <laughs> we have a special interview with, with Victor Tsang of VT Couture coming up in a couple of minutes. Victor Tsang is a Bay Area designer specializing in his one-of-kind, handmade, and painted wearable art. Before the phone interview, let's take a look at Victor's designs and some of the models he works with. Hi, my name is GK Ita, and I'm from the Bay Area. I was born and raised in Oakland, California. Oakland is like a really diverse and cultural place, so you really have to reflect that in your style, like who you are and where you're from and where you came from. So I really try to stick to that. Just my environment is my influence. So 
当我第一眼看到这个女孩子的时候 ，first time I met her, I sensed something special. For one, she's very tall, and secondly, she has a very healthy complexion. She's fit and overall has a glowing personality. 的形象。She she gave me a very strong feeling. She definitely stands out. She has the two very wonderful sides, one very modern city style, and and also she can encompass the more wild side. I'm gonna try urban style. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. I think urban street style is、uh, more simple, more modern. It really reflects like house music and electric music, really urban stuff. Oh, we're not good. Stripes and checkers are are simply timeless. Large, small, you name it. These help ground new styles, especially in modern fashion. Once I find the right pattern, what I think is most important is how it fits the model. I wanted to keep her short hair style. I wanted to take the challenge of making two different types of short hair and still make a contrast. I gelled her hair smooth and flat to bring out her expressive eyes. I felt this would work for the urban environment. 干练和嗯简洁。Trying the city style, I felt really sophisticated and feminine. The style was very, very、uh, chic and fresh. I would like to wear this style to work. I would wear this style to go grab drinks. My name is Anna. I'm from Belarus. I grew up in a small city. Then I moved to Minsk, which is the capital city of my country. I studied there for years, and then I moved to San Francisco. I got a job here, and I really like it. I'm a model. When I first laid eyes on Anna, she was extremely beautiful. She has very good proportions and very nice legs. All the clothing I chose for her in both styles show her legs. Most of time, I'm wearing casual clothes, and also I like urban and city style. It makes me different. I can't describe myself as a sweet girl, but it might be interesting to try. For the sweet girl style, I focused on pulling her hair up into a bun. I thought it would give her a more innocent feel. Now in Asia, people are starting to use more dramatic colors. Even more so than the Western world. Another thing I focused on was giving her some pink blush. Pink will bring out the liveliness in one. Stylist made me super sweet girl. I had a pink short dress and special hairstyle. Actually, I want to try this look in my daily life. Why not? Hi, I'm Charlie, and、uh, my full name is Chol Wat Chananon. I'm graduating、uh, from Academy of Art University. My major is Multimedia Communication, and I really like to be host and producer in the future. <laughs>
I'm from Bangkok. It's the capital of Thailand, and I also like study in a boarding school girl. So most of the girls will like have a brand name bag, wear a dress, and look so sweet and cute. Charlie, to me, she has a very gentle vibe. When I chose her outfits, I was careful not to stress the contrast between them too much. For the urban style, I applied a thick eyeliner and extended the corners of the eyes. And of course, the smoky eyeshadow is important for this style. It will make her eyes stand out. The makeup will complement her short black hair. Last time I had my short hair, is like... I think 10 years ago at the school. I didn't create a high contrast, but I took advantage of the use of accessories to accent aspects of the new style. I'm not trolly anymore. Um, I turn to be another person. Even my like uh, posture and everything is changed. I mean, falling by the dress I wore that day. Actually, people don't have to stick with just one style. I mean, just have fun with fashion. It's something like hobbies that make you like, you know, to be um, another person like, each day. Welcome back. We're honored to have a couture himself on the phone right now. Hi, Victor. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Hi. So, um, for those of us who don't know you, can you please tell us about yourself? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. for those of us who, doesn't know, who don't know you, can you please tell something about yourself? Okay. Uh... I'm a self-taught fashion designer, I'm, I'm, uh, and I started my business uh, since 1997. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm 1994, and uh, my design, uh, pretty much every dress, I only make one. And uh, a lot of my design, I use my own design fabric. Oh. If I cannot find a fabric uh, that I can use, then I hand dye or hand hand myself. Oh. So that make yeah. Okay. So and tell us a little bit how did you get into art and design and like what's the story? Oh sorry. You know uh, uh you know uh when I was young, uh I'm I am i am come from I, I was born in Taiwan. My mother uh you know uh used to tell us how to dress Property is a. She always told us, you know, to dress properly is a, a very basic manner. So oh. uh, we was taught and uh, dress uh, properly, and uh, so I started interesting uh, to uh, to make dress, and uh, that's that's how I started. <laughs> Wow, so basically everything came up from the family, right? <laughs> yeah. What do you prefer if you can just pick just one art of designing? Yeah, uh, yeah. Each, each, uh, each, each, each design is uh, basically enough. I, you know, when I design, I, I don't follow the fashion trend. You know, I just do whatever I think is pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, and what are you trying to express through your clothes? Express my clothes? Yeah. What are you trying to show people, like? Uh, 
Well, I, I don't get it. I don't know, express yourself like art designer, like how do you feel that you like making something and at this time you think about something, you know, like you want people have some feelings about that? Yeah, you know, I, you know, uh, I like people think about my designs uh, like kind of, it's a piece of art. And oh. also I like, uh, uh, I like uh, my when people wear my dress like uh, that, that, and I want the people. It's more important the dresses, you know, just to support the people, person to wear. Yeah. That was actually my next question. I wanted to ask you where do you draw your inspiration from? So. Inspiration. Yeah. So it's it's people, right? Is I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So and can you please tell us are there any future projects? events, fashion shows that you would like people to know about coming up? Uh, you know, my rece the reception is not too good. I cannot hear very well. So if you have, if you have any shows that are coming up and you wanted to let people know about it, we would love to know about it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, can, can you hear me? Uh, not very clear. The reception, because this is my cell phone, the reception is not too, All right. what do we do? it's not too good. Okay, Hello? just wrap it. Just go on. Just say thank you. Oh, okay. Just say thank you. Then. We'll move on. Hello? Thank you, Victor. That was my pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, well, thank you, Victor, for calling in and giving us the opportunity to talk with you. It was our pleasure. Goodbye. VIP Socialite and TV Couture did a show together back in July that benefited this SF food bank. Rumor has it that a future collaboration is in the works for those two. Before we go, I wanted to bring up two people that without them this show wouldn't be possible. Founder of VIP Socialize, Shailene, and DJ turned TV host, Michael Uhila. Please come up here. Thanks for, wa thanks for watching. Stay fabulous and tune in to VIPSocialite.com for news and updates on our fashion sh show tour coming up. Also, log on to Yolanda's website for fashion advice. Fashionable fun. Fashionable fun. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, it's for fashion at www.for, the number four, fashion advice, for fashion advice. And you can also follow me on Twitter, on mannequinsf.blogspot.com for my blog. And I also guest blog for the Academy of Arts Fashion School daily website from time and time again. So you can follow me there as well. And, and tune, tune in to our next, next show. show. Next show. <laughs> Tune in. See you then. See you then. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're just talking now. Just everybody talk like you know you're you're gonna look at me and I'm gonna look at you. So <laughs> that was fun. So that was great. Yeah. 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 That, that was fun. That was great. amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. pulled it off very well. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best you could do. Yeah. Would you guys watch again? <laughs> Would you tune in? Yeah. Tune in again. Okay, good. <laughs>